Resistance Radio is brought to you by Black Swan Outdoors. Our mission is to help you realize and develop your self-reliance, whether it's in the wilderness or the city center. Okay, so this is the first podcast of Resistance Radio. Uh, This is pretty exciting. I've been trying to get to this point where we can do this and get a few podcasts under the belt. Now, at this point, I don't have much planned for the blog, for the podcasts. I've just been working on getting content up and getting things before I really start promoting both the podcast or the blog. And I wanted to kind of explore with these two mediums and see what was more engaging, which was more fun um, to to produce. So uh, for those of you listening out there, I'm, I'm thinking maybe the podcast format and, and some of the blog postings and stuff may change as we as we go and develop but um, I, I want to welcome you to this uh, podcast and welcome you to the blog uh, for those that may have seen it already the blog is blackswanoutdoors.com uh, so I just want to give a little background on blog and the and the podcast and kind of what our in, intention was and and then kind of go from there so it's really my background and interest is in self-reliance. I've always been interested in that, and I've always been curious about how people uh, live and survive uh, with essentially minimal resources, um, in, whether it's in a, a, a specific situation of um, you know, being lost in the wilderness to people who go out and you know, start colonies and you know, um, in uncharted area, right? Or, or, or so old, you know, I've always been interested in self-reliance and how people survive uh, tough situations. Um, and so I've, al- I've had this kind of um, interest in the outdoors. Um, I am an avid outdoors person, I guess I would, I would say. Um, done a lot of backpacking, uh, wilderness uh, rock climbing, ice climbing, um, wilderness canoeing, um, and I just had grown up doing these things, being essentially self reliant, uh, where it's just me living out of my pack for you know a week or two weeks at a time, uh, and so my interest in that this concept of self reliance kind of extended out then into things like homesteading and uh, living off the land, kind of these, you know, these people who in the American culture gone out west, you know, with nothing but um, their uh, covered wagons and a few oxen and a horses and, and going out and clearing land and building a log cabin and living out into this, you know, uh, living out in this wilderness and surviving. And, and, um, and I always growing up had always been excited about that and and um and i have just a particular keen interest in in that and uh you know those who who do the those kind of things like live on you know in more contemporary terms living on battleships right these you know they're going on these battleships out into the ocean for for months at a time and they have to live in in like self-sufficiently on a ship or um the old monasteries of time where these, you know, Jesuit priests would go out and build these monasteries with nothing, with very little resources. Um, so, you know, this idea of, of starting something new, starting something from nothing is kind of a cool concept. And, and I think that uh, really kind of speaks to the blog and uh, the podcast also in, in a way that I'm starting with nothing. I don't have much experience or um, knowledge in both uh, the content, uh, admittedly, and also um, in what I'm doing with the podcasting and, and uh, blogging and such. So 
so it's kind of fun, kind of exciting. Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, as I said, I, I did a lot of outdoor education or outdoor adventures and, and been interested in those things. Um, I've been very, as a child, as a young young adult, very uh, interested in scouting um, and, and kind of that was a, uh, a great foundation for myself growing up. Um, so, you know, learning all the basics of outdoors through scouting, whether it be knot tying and fire starting and first aid and all those things and, and uh, learning how to kind of be prepared. Um, after college, um, went into foreign policy um, and worked for um, Think Tank uh, and did uh, some essentially event uh, administration, event planning, um, I was in charge of running my own programs on um, different topics, um, primarily in the environment, um, issues, food security issues, agriculture issues, um, energy issues, things of that nature. Um, I did that for almost a decade and um, liked it, learned a lot, met a lot of interesting people. Um, but uh, at some point, it just the rat race of living in a city... Um, was killing me and I needed an escape and I ended up uh, packing a, a little U-Haul trailer and um, just heading out to Iowa, uh, essentially buying a farm, a little 15 acre uh, farm in the middle of Iowa um, and uh, learning how to homestead and kind of, you know, did what I had always um, envied of our in our history of these people who got these covered wagons and, and went out west, and I did that. Uh, so I bought a little piece of property, um, which I own today still, um, and learned how to homestead. Um, so we had uh, a, a garden, um, chickens, uh, we, uh, goats. Uh, we did, um, we've done everything from hogs to steer, um, try, trying to experiment with as much as we could. Uh, bees winemaking, um, preserving, um, you know, had a little orchard, um, and, uh, tried to live as best as we could. I think we had, a, we lived upon about 70% of the food that we lived on was from the farm, 70, 75%. Um, you know, we still ate out, we still, you know, bought some things, provisions and such from the supermarket. So, you know, we didn't, we weren't a hundred percent living off the land. Uh, but we did quite a bit. Um, from there, we started growing commercially um, and had a small organically certified, USDA certified organic uh, market garden uh, where we produced tomatoes, basil, and other fruits and vegetables to local f um, restaurants and supermarkets and such, and then had our own roadside stand as well. So we did that for a while, um, and um, then... Um, you know, it, 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 it was, it was fun, but it wasn't terribly profitable. And there was a lot of, uh, new business mistakes that I think we made, um, in that. And with that lack of cash flow, it forced us to get off farm jobs. Um, so my partner and I both work off the farm and, um, uh, have, because of that, been forced to live in other locations off the farm. So our farm is no longer operational um, as it was uh, both as a homestead or as a, uh, as a uh, market garden. Um, it's now more of a, a weekend retreat for us. Um, so I'm back in the city um, and I want to continue this exploration of self-reliance. Um, and now I'm doing it in a kind of urban context, I guess you could say. So um this blog uh, that we st I started first is um, kind of an exploration in that, taking wilderness skills, homesteading skills and such, um, and, you know, potentially applying those um, or, or that kind of that, the concepts and um, applying those into an urban context. And, um, and so I've wanted to explore and pick a theme to that that I thought would be kind of fun and engaging and I I you know as a kid growing up in the 80s um, 
was always excited about spies and spy films, uh, James Bond, and then later on, you know, in the '90s, Jason Bourne, um, and um, and those that series. Um, in in those movies, I read a lot of Tom Clancy um, for books and things. So you know, I always kind of had this um, this interest in in the clandestine world, um, and so. Um, I thought maybe that'd be kind of a cool concept of self-reliance. You know, here are these guys, these covert operators who are going out around the world um, and essentially uh, needing with very little support to do their job, whatever whatever they need to do of, of gathering influ- information or influence or gaining contacts um, and, and such. And so I, I thought, you know, a lot of those skill sets are the equivalency of um, survival skills in the wilderness um, that they have. Their trade craft is essentially survival skills in an urban context, which was kind of cool. So um, that was kind of the, the, the emphasis um, or the inspiration behind the blog. And so that's kind of in the blog, that's what I'm going to be blogging about and learning skills and and sharing those skills and there's a ton of stuff out there and I don't want to repeat those things so I'll you know repost things on on articles and YouTube videos and things like that that are that I find interesting and then write as I as I have time uh, articles and, and information about the stuff and essentially it's what I'm learning about so it's kind of different things that I'm learning about wanting to share because I'm I don't have a background in clandestine services or in the um um, it, as a covert operator, I, I don't want to mislead people to think that I have those experiences. In my uh, past life working in the foreign policy world, though, um, I did come across a lot of these people, uh, whether they're working for Department of Defense uh, or the CIA itself, uh, FBI, um, and worked very closely uh, with a lot of those people. So I have some contacts from that world um, and experience um, kind of rubbing shoulders in that world. And as I can, I'll be referencing those individuals or, or bringing, possibly bringing those people on in the, on the podcast, which is what kind of the hope was. And so I, I'm not coming out of this completely out of the dark, but um, I, I thought it was uh, an interesting component. So the podcast was something that I've been always wanting to do as a podcast and needing just a topic, and I thought this would be a great opportunity. I'm going to be changing this format, uh, I know, in the future, um, but for right now, it's going to be a, kind of a solo podcast. Help me get my chops down. Um, help me kind of get get this thing up and going. So I'm calling it Resistance Radio. That is kind of a tip of the hat to the uh, one of the coolest and, and probably one of the first clandestine stories of America's kind of special operations. It's, it's kind of a tip to the hat to Operation Jedburgh. And Jedburgh was, a, was the first coalition special forces operation uh, during World War II. And uh, they would get these guys from um, all around Europe, but, you know, um, Canada and, and England, uh, uh, Belgium, and, and they would uh, train these guys up in um, surveillance and parachuting and small arms um, tactics. They would literally parachute them out into um, allied France uh, with nothing but a shovel and a gun, um, and they would the shovel was to bury their parachute, and then they would blend into the population um, with the focus of trying to organize all these other res- resistance movements that were happening at the time into one consolidated force. Um, and one of the key tools that they used was, uh, was radio. And that is one of my first uh, urban skills, I'll call it, or, um, you know, new skills that I've been learning about, which is ham radio and uh, or amateur radio. And I thought that was just a cool tie-in to this podcast, uh, what they're doing. So 
yeah, so the Jed Burroughs was, was a really interesting uh, chapter in our in our history, American history, um, and world history. And it's not really talked a whole lot about. Um, it's not really um, in American history, um, or at least I hadn't come across it until just probably a few years ago. There is a lot happening politically um, in the United States at this point in time. And the word resistance is used in reference to a lot of these contemporary political issues that are going on. I'm not going to confirm nor deny any relationship to that movement. Um, But I will say that I am not going to I'm going to try my hardest not to get political in this podcast. I want this podcast to be for everyone. But, uh, yeah, it's, I know it's going to be, it's dicey territory to use a trigger word like resistance. And um, so maybe it, that's something that will draw in interest. Um, but, so I just want everyone to know everyone is welcomed on this podcast. We're not, I'm not going to get political. Uh, at least I'm gonna, not going to try to get pro- political at this point. Um, so... Yeah, so that's kind of the background of um, the podcast and the blog, and kind of what we're uh, what we're about, what we're doing here. Um, I shouldn't say we; it's a one man show. But you know, hey, uh, hopefully we'll be bringing on new people. Um, maybe we'll have other writers in the blog who want to jump in, um, and I'm hoping to have maybe some guests in the near future. But as I said, I want to do these podcasts just solo, just kind of practicing it out um, and producing the content and stuff. So um, when we do bring in people, it's it's a, a interesting and, and, and fun for you. So with that, uh, that's the podcast. And I, I really hope you enjoy both the blog and the podcast. Um, it should be uh, interesting, at least. I'm also going to do a little thing on on Instagram as well. Um, Nothing on Facebook or other medias, Twitter, anything like that. So just Instagram at this point. I want to keep this simple. Um, So three formats right now. Um, But what one thing I would like to do here in the near future is to be able to answer questions that you might have. So I'm going to have a hashtag uh, be the resistance, and I'm going to use that hashtag then to help um, get questions um, to have, have you get questions to me through Instagram. If you post some questions on the blog or using the hashtag be the resistance, I would like to address those questions. So um, right now I'm looking at publishing this podcast uh, once a month, and then doing blog posts, if I can, weekly. And so I would be able, I would like to be able to answer your questions through either the podcast or the blog. So shoot me a question um, through the blog or through Instagram right now at be the resistance, and and I would love to um, jump into that, answer those questions for you. So with that, um, I want to thank you for your time and interest in the podcast, and I look forward to providing more content and more interesting things here in the very near future. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We post new episodes at the end of each month. Please visit our blog for articles and more information at www.blackswanoutdoors.com or check us out on Instagram. Four, four.